In this video tutorial, we're going to step through the process of creating a color lookup table for your post-processing volumes to affect your, your coloration um, and your, your final scene look. Um, and we'll step through that very, very quickly, uh, show you how to apply it. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing that we should discuss is what a lookup table is and why you would want to use it. Now, a color lookup table, or a LUT, L-U-T, um, is a three-dimensional image, three-dimensional image in the sense of the data that it contains, not like a 3D object that you would uh, normally see. Uh, but within it, it, it contains color information that you would use for color correction. Um, now, there's um, a traditional method that you could do this with um, inside of Unreal, which we'll show here in a second, um, or you can use this lookup table, which probably gives you a little bit faster control over the final image quality that you want. Um, so let me show you real quick where um, this would be applied to. So in our scene, we, we actually have two post-processing volumes. We're going to ignore this neutral one. Um, all this one is is simply just a neutralizer for the scene. So we've leveled everything out. We don't have any effects over top. But what we're going to do is we're going to apply our color LUT to this post-processing volume LUT. So uh, real quick, I'm going to click it. And there's nothing fancy here at all um, that's been changed. Um, we'll jump in here. Yep, everything is pretty much the same. I'll uncheck this, but um, this would be simply as if you just dropped a post-processing volume into your scene um, and we want to start adjusting it. So first things first, we're actually going to scroll down and make sure that this um, infinite extent unbound is checked. Um, now, I'll uh, later in the video, I'll explain where you may not want this, but for the purposes of this demonstration to start with, we do want it um, unbound so it fills our entire scene, not just the little volume um, that it's set to. Um, okay, so in here, um, traditionally you would go in here and say, for example, you know, I wanted to do some correction in my, my shadows, right? So I wanted to, to boost those up. Okay, well, that looks good. Maybe I wanted to go into my global, change my saturation, maybe take this up a little bit. Okay, you know, and, and continue to go through this and make adjustments as necessary. And as, as you can see, I mean, the tools are great in the engine for being able to do this. And you can go, you know, setting by setting and change all of these things to achieve this final effect that you want, which is great. But, you know, what if you want to use traditional tools, say like, you know, Photoshop, where you've got curves, levels and adjustments to be able to um, produce the final image that you want. That's where color lookup tables come in extremely handy. So I'm going to go ahead and just, um, you know what, let's do. Let's just go ahead and delete this and we'll drop another post processing volume in here. We'll drop it in here. I do have game mode turned on. That's why you can't see those things. So we'll do this. Um, same thing. We'll just rename this to LUT and everything should be uh, zeroed out. So, all right. So we'll get kind of our, our framed up shot here the way that we want it. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to press F9 and that's going to capture a screenshot of my actual viewport. Um, and once we've got that screenshot captured, we're actually going to take that into Photoshop. You can take that into whatever program that you want. Um, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to use Photoshop. So we'll go ahead and open that in Photoshop and start making our adjustments. First thing that you're going to want to do before we do any changes in Photoshop is you're going to want to head over to this web page, which is on the Unreal Docs. Um, I'll put this link in the description of this video so you can just click it. But down here, the first thing that we want to do is under this color neutral LUT, you're going to want to right click and save this image. Um, and that's what we're going to be using as our correction. So it's very important. You're going to need this image uh, before we do anything else. So, all right, so let's jump in here. So we've got our screenshot on the left that we took in Unreal. And on the right, I have that image that we just saved. OK, now in Photoshop, now this isn't a tutorial on how to use Photoshop or anything like that. Um, it's just kind of assumed that you know this, but you can add various different adjustment layers. So, for example, I've gone and I've added a hue saturation, boosted up a couple of the blues, um, a little bit of the midtones. I've gone in and added even a color lookup table inside of Photoshop, which is right here. I've gone in and I've added some curves, some vibrance and then a global curves adjustment just so it's easier to see. Granted, this isn't the most, you know, pretty picture. But the point is here is that I've I've taken these adjustment layers inside of Photoshop in the workflow that I may be used to. And I've quickly added the image effects of how I want my scene to look. OK, so how do we get that information into Unreal? 
Um, very simple. So over here on the image that we actually have, um, that we downloaded from that web page, the lookup table image, I'm simply going to go back to the image that I made the adjustments, select all my adjustments, and then click drag over on top. So now I've got my lookup table with all of these adjustments. So uh, it may be a little difficult to see, but um, you can kind of see a little bit of changes in these color blocks here where the effects that we have in our image are now being applied to our LUT. Um, so before we export this out, one thing that we do want to make sure of is that if we go up to image mode, we want to make sure that that um, lookup table image is set at 16 bits per channel. Um, so once that's done, we've added all of our um, uh, different adjustment layers. We'll simply just go ahead and save it. And then we'll name this uh, ArcViz LUT. And we'll go ahead and make sure it's set as a PNG and save it. No compression. Press OK. And that's it. So now let's jump over into Unreal and let's actually get this hooked up into our post processing environment where we can start seeing the effect. Now that we're back into Unreal, I'm going to go ahead and take that LUT that we just created and simply drag drop this in here. Um, so the first thing that we need to do with this LUT before it's imported is we need to change a couple settings. So I just went ahead and double click this. And inside here, um, under MIP Gen Settings, we want to make sure that this is set to no MIP maps. So we'll go ahead and press that. And then the second thing is here, Texture Group. Instead of World, we need to set this to Color Lookup Table right here. And you should see that should even everything out. And that is it. So we'll go ahead and press Save. Um, and once you set this once, and if you re-import this LUT, um, it will retain all these settings, but make sure that those are set up. All right, so now we have our lookup table here. So how do we apply it? So I'm going to go back to our post-processing volume that we have here again, not the neutral one, but the one where we want to apply the LUT. And underneath miscellaneous, I'll expand this out, and there's a color grading LUT. So if I click this, and then I can simply drag drop on top. Okay, and let's make sure, uh, because we did add this one, you notice there's no effect taking place. Again, I'll come back to this where this may be beneficial or where it may not. But in this case, we want it applied over the whole scene. So I'll scroll back down and make sure infinite, extend, unbound is checked. So if I click it, there we go. Immediately you can see the changes, which are fairly close to the, um, the effects that we had inside of Photoshop. Um, so this is a great way for you to be able to um, take an image and visually make changes that you want using tools and adjustment layers in programs like Photoshop um, and quickly achieve the look you're going for without having to go manually through um, and click every single slider. Now, you could do several different changes. Um, you could create different LUTs for things um, and apply them as necessary. But that's the process. Again, very, very straightforward. So if we jump over to Photoshop, um, I'll repeat this. Simply take a screenshot of your scene that you want to change. Apply all of your um, adjustment layers that you want to using the image that um, Epic provides for the lookup table. Simply drag drop your adjustment layers over the top and save it out as a 16-bit PNG. Import into Unreal. In your uh, post-processing volume, you're going to want to make sure miscellaneous. Um, check and then go ahead and add um, your LUT to it. And that is it. Very, very simple. Now, I had mentioned a little bit earlier, too, that there may be some reasons why you wouldn't want to use this infinite extent um, unbound. Uh, where that would come into play is, for example, in game design, uh, you may have, say, like a, a sequence or a certain portion of the level where you need to have a different visual effect. Maybe the player's sick. Maybe they're experiencing a dream. Maybe they're underwater. Um, so you can use this lookup table and create various different effects for these areas. And so when the player enters that area, um, uh, that post-processing volume, it changes. So I'll, I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to uncheck infinite extent unbound. And I'm going to go ahead and just increase the size just a little bit so uh, we can trigger it sooner. But if I go, um, I'll keep it on here for now, but you can see as I enter that, it changes my effect. I'll hide this for game mode so you can see. But as we slowly start to move into it, there's the change. Um, so again, lookup look up tables um, are very, very handy, um, even if it's just for the quality that you want or different various effects. So um, I hope that helped. Hope you guys learned some things. Um, and uh, uh, as always, too, if you guys have suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments. I'll see what I can do. 
Um, so I thank you guys for watching and uh, see you on the next one.